All right, so the second problem then was how many moles of zinc chloride are there in two milliliters of a 2.0 molar solution? Again, we are going to start with the amount for which we know the volume, I mean the concentration of the solution. Well, in this case there is only one. It's kind of the beginnings of our reintroduction to stoichiometry, in this case solution stoichiometry, but we're starting with the two milliliters of a solution whose concentration we know. Okay, so two milliliters goes on the top. We need to know what the formula is. Well, in this case I gave you the formula. Okay. All right, so that's going to go on top. All right. Listen, guys, please just try to concentrate. Okay? All right, so now we're going to go to and use the two molar solution. Remember, molar is in units of moles of solute per liter of solution. Right now we have milliliters of solution. And what I need to do is to convert this into liters first. So what equality statement do we need to convert from milliliters to liters? A thousand milliliters <laughs> equals one liter. Okay. Now, I can use this then to convert this into liters by putting the thousand milliliters on the bottom and the one liter on the top. Milliliters then cancel. Okay. All right, going back to the problem, we have a two molar solution. Remember the molar solute, the molar concentration then can be written as a fraction. So I can say 2.00 moles of zinc chloride in one liter of that zinc chloride solution. And actually, this is a two milliliters of zinc chloride solution here. Should have written that. Okay. So I can cancel out zinc chloride solution now, and I can cancel out liters. The problem is asking for how many moles of zinc chloride? We have moles of zinc chloride remaining. So now we're just ready to plug it in the calculator to get an answer. 2.00 times 2.00 divided by 1,000. Point zero zero times two point zero zero, hit enter, then divide by the thousand, hit enter, zero point zero zero four. How many significant digits do I need in this answer? Three. How many do I have right now? One right now. The leading zeros are not significant. Go ahead. Leading zeros are not significant. This four is significant. What do I do to have three? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's raining, bud. Let's calm down. What do I do to show this answer? Add two more zeros or put two more zeros on it. That now has three significant digits. Units I have left are moles. Species I have left is zinc chloride. Okay, and that's the answer to the question. How many moles of zinc chloride are there in two milliliters of a two molar solution of zinc chloride? Okay? All right. So putting the starting amount here, milliliters of zinc chloride solution, that's all worth a point. Having the equality statement here where you write a thousand milliliters equals one liter, that's worth one point. The conversion unit up here, that's worth a point. 
writing the concentration in a fraction that's worth a point. Okay. Coming up with just the answer of the 0 0.004, that's worth a point. Having the two extra zeros on there to show the correct number of significant digits, that's worth a point. Having the units and species in the answer, that's worth a point. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I wanted to add another point on here, too. Point for canceling all the units. Oh, all right, they get a point if they cancel properly all the units and species. Hey, did your power almost go out all the day? Mm -hmm. well, it did down there on that side when I came in, but that side did Really? Door. Pretty stable here. Okay. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. So the total for this problem is eight points. Okay? And the total for the whole page then, 18. Mm-hmm. No. Not right now.